What did you do to Floyd? <gasps> Floyd? This is Bo. No, oh. this is Art. Artery. Art? Artery, the guy. Uh, Art. Yeah, that's his name. Yeah, yeah. He does hang it. on the wall. Yeah, Art wall hanger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we have a flat dude. Um, the flat art. guy, art. Art, art, it has a whole bunch of arteries and veins for us to look at. So we can see his heart there in the middle of the thoracic cavity above the diaphragm. So we can see the diaphragm cutting right through there. Um, and we're going to look at the pulmonary circuit first. So on the pulmonary circuit, we're looking just at the lungs. So remember, we talked about the blood flow. Blood comes from the right ventricle, goes through the pulmonary semilunar valve into the pulmonary trunk. So here you can see the pulmonary trunk diverges into the two sets of pulmonary arteries, which will be blue in the lungs and going out and collecting oxygen, turning red, and then coming back through the pulmonary veins into the left atrium. Now this oxygenated blood from the left atrium is going to move into the left ventricle, go up through the aortic semilunar valve, and go in through the aorta. Now from the aorta, we basically send blood to the entire body. Uh, so our first branch that comes off of the aorta at the top that we looked at earlier is the brachiocephalic artery. Brachiocephalic artery, as you can kind of see it cuts there underneath the veins, is going to have two branches. So let's follow the first branch off to the right side of the body. As it goes off there, it's going to turn into what we call the subclavian artery. So underneath the clavicle, it will continue down to the armpit and become our axillary artery. Um, axillary will then turn into our brachial along the arm, and it will continue down into the arm and feed everything, but we're basically going to stop there. We don't care about ulna and radius, um, and the blood's going to be coming back. Now, as you can see there, right at the elbow pit, we have the median cubital vein. This is the one that those of you who get to draw a lot of blood are gonna get very familiar with. And it's going to feed the blood back up towards the heart through our brachial vein. Brachial vein will then converge with our subclavian vein. And then the right subclavian vein will meet the right subclavian the right subclavian vein will meet the right brachiocephalic vein, which dumps into the superior vena cava, bringing blood back into the right atrium. That's a, that's a tour. We still have three more. Wow. Okay. So that second branch of the brachiocephalic artery was going up towards the head. This is called the common carotid artery. The common carotid artery will go up to the head, feed everything up there, including your nice big fat brains, which need to gather all the biology. And then it is going to get drained by a whole bunch of veins that then converge on the external jugular vein, which will meet up with that subclavian vein we saw on the right side to the right brachiocephalic trunk, and again to the superior vena cava. <sighs> Two more. Second branch off of the aorta is our left common carotid. So we have a carotid on both sides. This one gets its own entrance off of the aorta. Um, it's going to go up the neck again, feed the head, feed the brain, drain blood through the left external jugular vein and dump into the left brachiocephalic trunk and hit the superior vena cava. One more. Last one. Last one here is going to be the left subclavian artery, which is going to dump under the clavicle and take blood out to the left axillary artery and then the left brachial artery, and that's going to come back the same way, even though this side of the model has absolutely no veins. It's there, we promise, in All real right. life. In real life, your body's not blue and red and plastic. Right. Okay, that is going to be the top half. We will start video number two for the bottom.